This year has got to be one of the strangest years in Nintendo history. What is up you guys? It is Zach and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be about a speculated upcoming direct because you all know the rumor mill and how it churns. People are saying there might be a Nintendo Direct this month. Um, now, I don't know of the validity of this. I mean, I'm just hearing from word of mouth that uh, people are thinking a Direct is going to be this month, which kind of makes sense given that we didn't have one back in February. So, I really am hoping we do have a Nintendo Direct this month, but that begs the question, what would I like to see in a, in a Nintendo Direct? Now, in terms of predictions, that'll be, you know, that video will be out when the thing actually gets announced. When we actually know that there is a Nintendo Direct happening, I'll put up a predictions video and say how I think Nintendo are going to structure this Direct. But, for now, I kind of want to talk about what I want from Nintendo, because... Here's the thing, right? This year, like I said, is a very strange year for Nintendo uh, because of the fact that, I mean, at least in most of our opinion, it's going to be the last main year of the Switch. And if they're going to show off the Switch 2 at some point this year, you know, later this year, no matter when it is, I do think any big directs that have the rest of the Switch lineup for this year would probably be early on so that nothing later with the Switch 2 gets overshadowed or the, the Switch 2 doesn't overshadow anything that gets announced. So I do think that whenever this Direct comes out, I do think that it will have a lot of substantial information, hence why they didn't have a February Direct because they weren't ready to show it off yet. So this is, like I said, my personal wish list of the things that I would like to see in a Nintendo Direct. So if you guys enjoy this video, definitely drop a like and subscribe down below. And of course, tickle that notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload videos. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So let's start off with the three main games that are coming out that we know of from Nintendo being Endless Ocean, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Let's start with Endless Ocean. This game, you know, I mean, granted, I'm not a big Endless Ocean fan, so I don't really have too, too much to say on this one. But if Nintendo wants to give us more information, I mean, they should. The game comes out, I believe, in May. So they definitely want to give us a little more of this one. I don't know, like, what more they could show off. Like I said, I'm not an Endless Ocean fan, so I don't know if there's anything from the older games that should be brought into this new one. Um, but I do think that it should show a little more, because as of right now, from looking at the trailers, there doesn't seem to be much depth, no pun intended there, uh, because of the fact that it just looks like you're just underwater looking at fish. Now, maybe that's what the original games were all about, and there was nothing more to it, but I would hope that there's some something to tie it all together. Maybe a story, maybe different modes, different things you can do underwater. I don't know, like, if it's just exploring the under underwater. Now, granted, you could play online with up to 32 people, which is pretty crazy in my opinion, but... I do think that there should be a little more to entice people to get this one because otherwise I know there are people that are excited for it but I don't think it'll do them that well in the long run if they don't just give us a little more something to make it a little more appealing. Alright, I'm going to talk about Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door now. Um, this one, honestly, we've seen quite a bit of it at this point. We've seen lots of pictures, we've seen lots of gameplay, and given that it's a remake we don't really need to see that much more of the game unless they're going to do something extra or something new with it. Um, now, personally, what I would like them to do is I would like a side mode, kind of like with what they did with the Mario and Luigi remakes on the 3DS, except a little different. I want the side mode rather to be its really own separate thing, like the 3DS Mario and Luigi remakes were. I want it to complement the game. I want it to be in this in a similar style. I want there to be new content in that Paper Mario style from, you know, the Thousand Year Door, but have it be a side story. You know, I think one of the big ones is Luigi because Luigi's on some sort of adventure while Mario is doing things in the Thousand Year Door. So maybe giving Luigi a side mode that functions very much like Paper Mario, but you play as Luigi and maybe you're in some different environments or some, you know, smaller locations. Now, it wouldn't be this big grand story like the Thousand Year Door is. It would just be a little uh, treat on the side um, but I, I think that would be a great way to get people who maybe have the original game, maybe, you know, want a little bit more from it, 
that would be a great thing to add to make Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door worth it. Now, given that we already have the box art for this game, and the box art says nothing about any extra modes, because every other game, you know, the RPGs that they added the extra modes to, it's somewhere on the box art, but not here. So... I don't think they're gonna do it. I don't think there's going to be anything big. I know there's like new gameplay features, but I think that's more so in the terms of like quality of life improvements and different things that are tweaking with the gameplay as opposed to whole big things that they're adding. But I can hold out hope. It would be really, really cool just for them to add that a little bit more to make it an even more solid remake. Next up, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Okay, it's been six months since we've seen this one. Over six months, actually. I think we're getting towards seven months, right? I think we really need to see the visuals on this one because I've honestly, I will say, I've been getting a lot of attention on that YouTube short that I uploaded with the graphics comparison of, you know, the original and the remaster. And I do think it is important to note that, well, two things. Firstly, the, the video in the, the, the short is upscaled footage, so that's not even like what it actually looks like on the 3DS. So the Switch version looks miles better, infinitely, like there's no argument against that. But what I will say is, if you remember Luigi's Mansion 3, when that got revealed, right, the game looked not that great. There weren't many solid textures yet, it, it just looked not polished. But then, when we saw it six months later, after that trailer, however long it was, uh, it looked great. There was so much added detail, so much more textures. And I'm really hoping that same thing is happening to Luigi's Mansion 2. Because, here's the thing. I know they're not going to completely overhaul this one. I know they're not going to change it up or really do anything to differentiate it from the original. But the one thing, if there is anything I'd really want them to focus on that I do think is a possibility is the graphics. I want them to make it look great. I don't expect it to look on par with Luigi's Mansion 3, but what I do expect is greater lighting, you know, shadow effects, maybe some dust particles. Um, I would like to see some more, you know, like ghosts, you know, like having them be a little more transparent, having them be a little more luminescent. Just doing different effects like that could really make Luigi's Mansion 2 HD look really good and I feel like that will be the selling point for that game because $60 is a big bullet to bite for that game so if you really upgrade it and make it look absolutely beautiful then that's how you're going to get people to actually try it out because I know Luigi's Mansion it's a bigger name it will sell you know maybe a couple million units I think but I still think you need to do a little bit more to get the hardcore Nintendo audience to buy into it. Because you're buying, you're getting the people who, you know, like the Luigi's Mansion 3 and want another Luigi's Mansion experience. But the hardcore Nintendo audience might not buy into it. So I do think they should do a little bit more. And this includes, yes, I'm going to say it again, bundling the original Luigi's Mansion in there. I think offering both games in one package would just be the best way to do this. Not just because I want it, obviously, but both of these games are short experiences, and I do think putting them together makes that $60 price tag a little easier to swallow, especially because of the fact that the first game is very different and was only on the GameCube and 3DS. So bringing it to an HD console, making it look really good alongside Dark Moon, especially because those two games are kind of connected, especially if they remastered the 3DS port of Luigi's Mansion and ha where it has that connectivity with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which in turn has connectivity with Luigi's Mansion 3, I think it would make sense to have the whole trilogy because, like I said, story-wise, it just makes sense. It's since Luigi's in the first game now, there's communication between the first game and the second game. Just do it. I don't know what the point is of just bringing Luigi's Mansion 2. You know, just... It frustrates me. You guys know this, but I, I think, honestly, if they're going to do it, this would be the time for them to do it. There's literally, like, this is literally their last chance. The game comes out in about two months. You know, a little, little more than two months. Nintendo, please. All right, so that's the main gist of what we know so far. What about what we don't know? What about any surprises or just other titles I would like to see? Now, one big one um, that we haven't had on the Switch yet, honestly, kind of surprisingly, and I feel like, again, kind of, if there's any time for this game to show up, it is now. That's Mario Baseball. 
you know, Mario Baseball, I love Mario Baseball, loved it as a kid, it's such a fun sports game, um, and it doesn't have an entry on the Switch yet, which is honestly kind of surprising, you know, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mario Strikers, those all got entries, even Strikers got entries, but no baseball, so I'm really hoping that Nintendo do something with Mario Baseball, and honestly, I know there's no faith in Nintendo right now in the Mario sports games, because in my personal opinion, they were all not as great as they could have been. Tennis was probably the best one, but Golf and Strikers just really dropped the ball. Again, no pun intended. So I really hope that if Mario Baseball comes around, they really take into consideration what fans have said specifically about Strikers. I think Strikers was the one that really cemented this because a lot of people, you know, they, they introduced the whole like, you know, adding it in later mechanic with Mario Tennis and no one really said anything because it was the first time they've really done it for a Mario sports game. Then they did it again with golf and it frustrated more people, but they were like, whatever. But then what happened to Strikers, which launched with minimal content and then they started adding stuff in, that's where people really got annoyed. So I feel like if they did that again, or if they said that they were going to do it again, that would completely ruin people's, um, you know, mindset. It would completely ruin the outlook of the game if they did that. So hopefully Nintendo learned the lesson, and if they do do a baseball game, they show us that there's lots of cool stadiums, all characters are there at launch, there's no one that we have to wait for, unless you want to have us unlock characters in-game, that's something you could have us do, um, but nothing that we have to wait months and months and months for. Um, and don't focus too heavily on the online, they did that with Strikers, and it just did not work. I mean, let's be honest, how many people out there are still doing the, the Battle League online thing? Are people still doing that? I don't know. Okay, let's talk some more remasters and remakes, because I do feel like this year is gonna have quite a few of them. And if there's any Nintendo games that I want to see remastered, here are the ones that I have to say. I would like to see the, the Twilight Princess Wind Waker thing happen. I would love to see those games come up to the Switch. I mean, I loved uh, Wind Waker on the GameCube. I actually have never played Twilight Princess, so maybe I would finally give that one a shot. And there would be two more great GameCube games to add to the library, especially if, you know, GameCube isn't going to come to, like, NSO or whatever. I would love to see more GameCube games come to the Switch and just get, you know, be able to be played portably on the Switch, and I don't know, like, you know, you guys know me, I love the GameCube generation, it's like my favorite generation from Nintendo, so hopefully that's something they do, um, and this also includes Metroid Prime 2, I mean, this was, not, this is more so ported to the Metroid Prime trilogy, so this could also extend to Metroid Prime 3, I would love to see these games on the Switch, I feel like lots of people would, I mean, we have to be getting close to Metroid Prime 4 by now, right? So getting the second game and the third game on the Switch, again, just like with Luigi's Mansion, it just makes sense. Why well, have the first game and then later the fourth game, but not the other two? Just please, Nintendo, freaking do it. I mean, if we're talking like all sorts of remasters, remakes, there's so many that I would love to see. Wario World would be a really, really good one. Same with like Chibi Robo, a remake of Eternal Darkness would be really, really good. Even another 3DS game like Kid Icarus Uprising or something to that effect. I think there's so many games in Nintendo's catalog to where if they don't have any newer titles to bring us this year because of the fact that they're focusing on the Switch 2, I feel like literally remastering any one of these titles would just be amazing, especially because specifically with the titles I've mentioned, they add a little more variety to the library because you have a lot of Mario's, you have a lot of Zelda's, but you don't really have Chibi Robo. You don't have like a Wario platformer. You know, you don't have a, like a Nintendo horror game. You don't have any of that stuff. So getting that, even if it is a remaster or a remake, would probably do really well for Nintendo, in my personal opinion. And not to mention, it would gauge people's interests in these franchises to see if they want to do another entry for them. So I think that's very important. Call me crazy, but I do think this is the year that a new Star Fox game could happen. Leaving it to like the last minute, you know, it's just such a Nintendo thing to do. Honestly, it's kind of what they did with Star Fox Zero, and obviously that didn't work out too well for them. But it'd be really cool to see them actually really attempt Star Fox again and do something a little different. I mean, Star Fox Zero, like, obviously had the bad controls and it didn't really do much difference to set us apart from the other Star Fox games. And I don't know, I just hate to see that series just so dead. I mean, it is one of Nintendo's flagship titles and I really just hope they do something with it. 
it's not really my cup of tea, but I do know there are lots of Star Fox fans out there, and same, same with F-Zero, honestly. Nintendo's been testing the waters a little bit with F-Zero, with things like F-Zero 99, so I do think a new F-Zero game honestly isn't out of the cards. Or even a remaster of, like, GX or something from the GameCube. I think that would be really, really cool. Maybe with some added online support. That would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know. Just anything to bring back some of the dormant franchises because of the, the Switch, you know. It'll naturally sell a little bit more. Even if it doesn't sell amazingly, it'll still sell more than it would on the Wii U or any of Nintendo's other consoles. So, yeah, I think Nintendo have a lot of opportunities with their current existing IPs, and I really hope they do something. And lastly, what would I like to see third party wise? Because third parties, you guys know, I actually really like third parties. I know a lot of people on here don't really care too, too much about them, but I do, so I'm gonna talk about them. There's quite a few uh, titles third party that I'd like to see either new updates for or just get announced. Um, the first of which being obviously Epic Mickey Rebrushed. This game obviously got announced last year and actually recently got some more gameplay and some stuff has come out for it. So I really hope that we get to see a little bit more of it in action, maybe a release date because it was announced in, in, in a Nintendo Direct. So I would love to see it get a little more detail and a release date in a Nintendo Direct. Also, the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes that game isn't confirmed for the Nintendo Switch, but the first two games in the Dark Pictures and, uh, Anthology have made their way to the Switch, so I can see the third title coming sometime soon now. Um, now, this is probably one of my lesser favorites of the, of the series, just because I'm not a big fan of the desert location, but nevertheless, it is still a really fun one. It's a great horror game, um, all that jazz. And I would just like to see more third parties. Now, here's the thing, right? Third parties realistically there's not going to be many because either they're kind of done with the switch at this point because of the fact that now it's really underpowered or they're focusing on nintendo's next console so it's going to be hard for third parties as well i don't think we're going to see too many but i do hope that some come around maybe even some good indie titles as well that would be very warmly welcomed in terms of like Nintendo Switch Online, I mean, there's quite a few titles I want to see. Banjo-Tooie is kind of the big one, at least for the Nintendo 64. I want to see Mario Golf and Mario Tennis on the GBA, as well as Mario Party Advance from the GBA. And I don't know, there's just a lot of other titles I want to see come to the service, but I don't know if Nintendo is going to focus too heavily on that. But then again, we don't know what else is coming out for either the N64 or the GBA. So we could very well see something here, and I hope we do. So overall, my main hope is that Nintendo brings good games this year. They don't need to be the biggest titles, because I know this is a wish list, but obviously I'm not going to say something like Mario Kart or 3D Mario, because they're not going to happen. I just want, you know, some really good titles, some good remasters, good remakes, stuff to tide us over until Nintendo's next console. And I think if they choose, you know, specific titles, like the ones I mentioned earlier, they bring us more titles on the NSO service, and you get some little good third-party support in there, I think Nintendo could easily cruise through this year and have a good year, on top of the games that they already have announced. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff down below. Hit that notification button so you're notified of when I upload videos. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you all in the next video.